Welcome back to STEM Men's 101. My name is Brooke Brown from Teach Outside the Box, and today we are discussing one of my favorite topics, which is integrating literacy with your STEM Men's time. I have found that STEM can be such an amazing hook for our reluctant readers and writers, and it is so important to make those meaningful connections all the way across our curriculum. So I'm gonna share some of my very favorite read-alouds for STEM bins and also some ways to infuse your STEM bins into your literacy centers and into your writing workshop. One of my favorite books that I love to use at the very beginning of the year to introduce STEM bins to my kids for the first time is called Dreaming Up by Christy Hale. And my favorite quote from this book is, if they can dream it, they can build it. And the reason I love this book is because it shows basic materials that kids can engineer with that are very similar to some of the materials that you see in STEM bins. So it has a lot of the Lego and the mini cups and the Play-Doh and even some card structures. But more than that, it shows a meaningful connection between that particular item that they're building with and a real form of architecture somewhere in our world. And what I love about this book is it features diverse characters and structures from all over our world. A wonderful way for our students to see those connections between what they are building now and that spark for engineering and what it can turn into later on. Another favorite set of books that I love to use to integrate with STEM bins are these two books by Andrea Beattie, which is one of my very favorite STEM authors. This one is called Rosie Revere Engineer, and this one is Iggy Peck Architect. Really anything by Andrea Beattie is amazing, and I highly recommend her work. What I love about sharing Rosie Revere Engineer at the beginning of the year is that it really defines what an engineer is to our kiddos. So one of my favorite questions that I love to ask my kindergartners at the beginning of the year is what an engineer is. Very often the first answer you're gonna get is that it's a train driver, or maybe they, some of them might know that it might build things, an engineer is someone who builds things, but this really defines that an engineer is someone who creates things to solve problems, because that's exactly what Rosie Revere does in her book. She overcomes failure, she has a brilliant growth mindset, and it's a great message for our students to really hone in on that grit and that perseverance and how important it is in our engineering design process. With Iggy Peck Architect, he will build with anything in front of them, similar to what your kids are gonna be doing with their stem bins. So he builds structures out of apples and oranges and clay and chalk, and it actually shows him later in his life growing up to be an architect, solving real problems, both wonderful inspirations for our kids who might consider these as careers when they get a little bit older. So if your kids are creating their own inventions with stem bins, two of the books I highly recommend are The Most Magnificent Thing. This is by Ashley Spires. And What Do You Do With an Idea by Kobe Yamada. This one is part of a series. There is another one called What Do You Do With a Problem and What Do You Do With a Chance. And these are gonna be great for fostering that inventive, divergent, outside the box thinking with your kids if you get them a specific problem to solve or if they're creating their own inventions. Both wonderful to share with your kids at any point during the school year. This would be great if you ask them to create a new playground or a new game or a new toy, something that they really can use their imagination and you don't limit them to a specific criteria. And the most recent book that I found that I love sharing with my kids is called Be a Maker. This is brand new and it is by Katie House. This one is wonderful because not only does it feature a huge variety of diverse children, it's so important for our kids to be able to see themselves in the books that we share with them, but it shows all different kinds of makers. So when you think of kids who are makers, a lot of times you think of builders and arts and crafts. And this book goes into music makers, it goes into food makers, it goes into film makers, it goes into all kinds of makers that our kids can aspire to be, even those that are making businesses and making friends. So kids are very easily able to see themselves in the different makers in this book. Now let's talk about how to infuse STEM bins into your literacy centers and your writing instruction. So already included in your STEM bins kit, you're going to get three foldable booklets that your students can very quickly and easily record their knowledge. My STEM bins inventions, design process, and my STEM bins creations. This is the one you're going to use more often than not during a literacy center because it has three targeted writing prompts. They have a choice. They can write sentences to tell how their structure looks and feels through a description. They can write directions to tell how they built their structure first, next, then last, that procedural writing. Or they can make up a story that uses their structure as a setting, so a creative story involving their structure. And this template is available in lower grades and upper grades format with different styles of lines. Very easy, low prep center. 
And I will tell you that this will very quickly become one of their favorite literacy centers because they get to play and build as they visit. It is a wonderful way to motivate those reluctant writers who may be hesitant to start writing or don't know what to write about. The STEM structure automatically gives them a visual and gets them a start for them to write about. So when you're ready to take your STEM mens to the next level, when you're really ready to bump them up with a level of enrichment and a level of writing that you think your students are ready for, I highly recommend my STEM mens quick writes. And these are available on my Teachers Pay Teachers store. I'll put the link below for you. Quick writes are half sheets of quick writing extensions that after your students build and create with a stem bin, they can take a quick write and then they have a form of closure. This is also a wonderful way to hold your students accountable for the stem bin task that you would like them to do. So I have a bunch of literacy ones, I have math ones in both lower grade and upper grade formats, and they are leveled all the way from the little ones all the way to the older ones. So this is one called Super Sentences. Your kids write five sentences about their structure. I also have one called Wonderful Words, where they take turns writing about their structure. This one is perfect for kindergarten and pre-K because they can take turns going back and forth writing words about their structure, and even my first graders love this one as well. And when they get a little bit older, they can move into parts of speech about their structures. Students can also build two different structures and compare and contrast. This is a wonderful partner writing activity because they can compare and contrast different designs. So this organizer I actually got on Amazon. It's just a file folder organizer, but you can find them at any office supply store. The tabs that you see are already included and you can organize them right next to your stimulants area so that your kids have a quick writing extension when they are finished building. So I hope those read alouds and writing suggestions gave you some easy ways to integrate STEM bins into your literacy instruction. Check out my final video in the series next with my top four ways to spice up your STEM bins and keep them fun and engaging for your kids all year long.